Allen County and the city of Fort Wayne are almost ready to approve a long-term plan to facilitate regional growth. Fox 55's Drew Fry is live in Fort Wayne to explain what steps still need to be taken and where some might have some concerns. Drew. Yeah, Kelsey, tonight's meeting featured about a 45 minute presentation about the city and the county's hopes and goals for the foreseeable future. That was then followed by public comment in which more than a dozen people got up and shared their thoughts. Many of those people were in full support of the plan, but of course, others still had some questions. Now, several members of these commissions involved in some of these uh, in some of these talks did have some clarification questions, mostly focused on where the county had room to grow and how city leaders would address potential housing shortages. The only Allen County areas not represented in this would be Leo Cedarville and New Haven, who are working on their own independent plans. But these are all things speakers say need to be taken into consideration. Present this to Leo, Cedarville, New Haven, and see what their thoughts are, what their plans are, to see if you, if there's any way that some things could be combined, overlap, and try and work with them. I hope and I look forward to updates to this plan that will improve housing affordability and improve density, uh, as well as consider bigger tracks. Well, neither council will take any action on that plan tonight. The Fort Wayne Plan Commission intends to meet on November 14th, while the Allen County Plan Commission will meet three days later. They will then each send a recommendation to city council and the county commissioners for approval in December. And if all of that goes well, then this plan should take full effect by March of 2023. This would then give local leaders a better guide onto where to move forward with any sort of development that they're interested in pursuing. And they say this is especially important considering that the previous plan they're working off of right now is more than a decade old. And well, things have changed in this area a lot since then. Reporting live in Fort Wayne, I'm Drew Fry, Fox 55 News.